Hello. Uh, my name is Jacques Rouge. I'm from Miller North. And this does have a suicide mental illness trigger warning, so... We're born alone, we live alone, we die alone. Only through our love and friendships can we have, for a moment, the illusion we are not alone. Orson Welles. Take a deep breath with me, in and out. Turn to the person closest to you, but farthest in your heart, and hug them. No thoughts of ramifications or of judgments. Only think of your similarities. Think about how they have a life, you have a life, and I have a life. How they have friends and family and people who love them. They have a life that should be lived. Too many people cut their lives short with a cold, steely blade or a knotted rope from a banister. Too many people think thoughts parallel to those who aren't with us anymore. More longing for what they think is an escape. I can say with certainty you are lying if not for one moment you have thought about taking one too many pills and sleeping till the sun blows and everybody with it. And I know that suicidal thoughts and depression will not go away because some boy on his soapbox talking about the sun and the moon and everything in between, this boy who has never struggled for anything in his life, but if he can help, one person not feel so disgusted with themselves. If he can help burn the incense of love and hope to drive away the thoughts of ineptitude and inconsequentiality, if he can even dispose a distorted disposition from its former depression in your mind, he'll be satisfied. He'll be satisfied that is one less person afraid of sleeping alone. That is one less person afraid of the silence of solitude. That is one person that feels the love and gratitude that he feels every day. So for a moment, think about any reason to live. It could range from you want to go home and eat that box of cereal before your siblings finish it. It could range from you want to grow up and get married with a beautiful partner and see your beautiful kids. Because that boy on his soapbox preaching about the sun and the moon and everything in between, that boy who has never struggled for anything in his life, he wants to grow up and see a hundred different sunrises from a hundred different places. He wants to see a thousand different colors even after he travels the world four times over, he wants to go to college and get a degree and God knows what and get a job he's happy with because above all those skyscraping dreams, but above that blue tinted boy, he doesn't want you to die. He doesn't want you to die. So for a moment, live.